Okay, so I have just put water inside all these cups. Okay, remember this is metal, glass, thick plastic, thin plastic, paper, and styrofoam. We are going to determine which one is a conductor, which means the heat will touch my hand, like reach my hand, and which one is an insulator. And I will mark each one with a C or an I. So, put my hand around this one. Mm, it's, it's pretty trapped in there. This is doing a good job of not letting the hot water touch me. So we're gonna make that a good insulator. That's a good insulator. Now the paper cup. Oh, I can actually feel it. I can feel the hot water. It's not too bad, but I can kind of feel it. So I'm gonna call it a conductor, but here's the thing. If you've ever ordered something from Starbucks that's a hot drink, they always put another thick paper around it. So it's like two layers of paper protect your hand. So it could be an insulator if done correctly, right? All right, now we have thin plastic. Oh, 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 that is hot. That is extremely hot, hotter than the paper. All right, we have thick plastic. It's hot. It's hot. I would not want to walk around with that in my hand unless it's like super cold outside and I need something to keep me warm. Just looking at this beaker, I can tell there's a mess going on. Like the water's trying to evaporate. Oh, it's hot. It is so incredibly hot. Oh my goodness. Well, what do you know? This tin can has a hole in it. Ooh, it's hot. Oh my gosh, it is so incredibly hot. Oh my goodness. Oh, ouch, 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 ouch. This is a conductor as well. Okay, so it is safe to determine styrofoam, paper, thin plastic, Thick plastic, glass, and metal. The one that's a really good insulator is probably the styrofoam, and it makes sense because it's thick, right? Paper, if done correctly, like maybe add a second layer, you can have a good insulator out of that. Plastic, for sure, major no. It is a conductor and that means I don't want a hot drink out of plastic. Glass too. I would never ever want to drink out of glass if it's a hot drink. And metal, extremely hot. I don't want to drink something out of that either. So if it was a cold winter day and I order a hot chocolate, I would want it in a styrofoam because it's an insulator which means it's not going to allow heat to go through, right? My hot chocolate will stay hot inside a styrofoam. Like I put my hand here and I can feel the heat, but when I put the hand here, like this is safe. I could hold this for five minutes and not feel any burn. This is a little tricky. But, you know, give me a second layer with the little brown carb thing, carbon, uh, what's it called? Cardboard thing that will protect it. But these, if I had a hot chocolate and I'm drinking out of this, that's dangerous. So these are good conductors, right? It will allow the heat to pass through. So that's fine. But that doesn't mean I want a conductor. I want an insulator. I want it to not allow the heat to go through. I want it to trap the heat. An insulator traps the heat. You want the insulator. So think about when it's winter time and you're thinking of like what to wear, right? Or think about like people that carry those metal, um, 
I don't remember those long, tall things and they put like coffee in it. Right. And it, it insulates the, the coffee inside. That's what you want. So there's your lesson on conductors and insulators. And just so you know, I was wearing goggles the entire time that I went to go pick up the hot water. And I, I was wearing goggles when I walked up close to it and put my hands around it. Always follow lab safety. So if you want to try this at home, I want you to get an adult and I want you to be very, very safe while you hold these cups. Make sure there is an adult with you.